My name is Leilani and in this video I'm going to share with you how we homeschool on the go. And what I mean by on the go, I mean not at home. We're just not at home. We're at therapies, doctor's appointments, extracurricular activities. My youngest daughter has Down syndrome. I have four kids. She has Down syndrome and she has a lot, a lot, a lot of therapies. Nine therapy sessions a week to be exact. Not to mention all the extracurricular activities that my kids are in, dance, gymnastics, etc, 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 because they all had to have their own little thing, right? We know they do. This is how we do it on the go, and I'll just be completely transparent. Uh, we are only home on Sundays and Mondays, and the rest of the week, we are waking up in the morning and getting out there, and we're just not home when we school. This is also a collaboration with two of my favorite people, Megan over at Pennies and Salt. She is like super, super smart. She's got some great ideas. And also Katie with Life in the Mundane. She is super resourceful as well as tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. She's amazing, so make sure to check her out as well. But I just wanna get started with you guys right now with showing you how we get started. We have to prepare the night before. You can't have homeschool on the go if you don't prepare the night before. So I'm gonna show you what I've done already tonight and what I still have left to do. So I am gonna take you through our our day tomorrow, which is from 9.30 in the morning all the way till six o'clock at night. It's a long, long day. And so one of the most important things that you have to bring in order to keep your sanity and the kids' sanity is food. All right, so I've already started cutting watermelon and I think I'm about done, but this is going to be Food. I highly suggest if you're doing food on the go is find stuff that you don't have to cook, don't have to worry about keeping cold. Yeah, I like chilled watermelon, I get it. But you can eat it if, it if it's been in a cooler all day and it's in the evening, you can eat it. Fruit is awesome. In fact, I think of the day as kind of just like a day, there, there's no sit down meal. So it's just a day of snacking on good, healthy things. The only bad thing about watermelon and on the go is it makes you have to use bathroom a lot. So just kind of prepare and plan for that in advance, but it does keep you hydrated too. So that's really good. Over here, I just got done cooking some hard boiled eggs. I, when I make my hard boiled eggs, one of my tricks is to boil it and then let it cool down to room temperature. That way it's easier to take off the shelves. Speaking of refrigerator, I'm gonna show you what I have prepped in mine. So I've got three bean burritos. They will eat those cold, I know. I got the eggs, I got some yogurt, I got Naomi's bean burrito. Now at therapy, she does work with her therapist on uh, eating. They do have her microwave in there and they do have a refrigerator in there, so that's good. If she doesn't eat it all, they microwave it up. She doesn't eat it, stick it in the fridge, cool it off, ready to come back to me. Isaac has some bean dip and I'm gonna throw some chips as well. I didn't pack those, but we're gonna throw some chips in there. All right, this is my pantry. There's a couple things that I still wanna pack, but first, I have a humongous bag of fruit and the lunchbox that I plan to bring tomorrow. I got this huge lunchbox because I knew that we needed a place to put stuff when we're on the go. Probably gonna throw some bananas in here as well, but I always put those on top because they start to go bad fast. Another thing that's super important to have in the car when you are on the go is some trash bags. Now, I... I'm going to just get a bunch and stick them in here. These come in handy, seriously, when you need trash, when you need to change a diaper, uh, if a kid needs to, to throw up, that has happened before on the go. So we stick a bunch in here. Also wet bathing suits because she does have, she has aqua therapy tomorrow in the water. So wet bathing suits in here. Of course, drinks are super important. I have some water bottles. I do like to get the juice boxes on occasion, but we're gonna do water bottles. Okay, another thing that we need to bring with us is schoolwork. All right, so I've already got a head start on packing their stuff because <laughs> everyone knows you can't do it like the day of, but let me show you what I've packed. They do have their individual backpacks from co-op and I know their schoolwork in them. So I'm gonna have them bring their backpacks tomorrow. This is what's left of our bag of pencils. All right, we used to have like a giganto bag of pencils, but I just, I literally just put in an order for more pencils. I don't know where these pencils are going. There's like socks, you know how socks, like you can't find the matching pair. And I'm hoping that they have some in their backpack because I have zero erasers and just, five pencils, but I used to have a whole bag of pencils. This is their bag of school stuff. 
And here is my favorite thing, clipboards. So each of my kids has a clipboard. I've also used those pillow clipboards or pillow tables, you know what I'm talking about? Those are great, they just take up a lot of room. But right now we're just doing clipboards and each of them have their name on it, so if they lose it, it's their fault. <laughs> but so far so good, each one has their name on it. Must have. And then in these bags, I just have schoolwork. And most of this is independent work and some of it is group work. So for example, we are studying Rome right now. Ancient Rome right now is our big group family subject and it's super duper interesting. But we're going to be actually going through this book which is a library book and I'm really excited because I heard amazing good things about this book. And they have a little worksheet that we're gonna do together. I also have some spelling. I have explode the code for Hannah. For Naomi, when she's not doing therapies, we're working on numbers and touch and tracing. I've also got a workbook in here, not to mention my kids like to do these little planners from Wendy Plan Prep Pray. This keeps them organized. I've also got her signature on them. Ha, <laughs> I'm cool like that. I also have a bunch of library books because we have some dead space and we just go to the library. Ready to go for tomorrow. Good morning, it is now Wednesday morning and we are just getting ready for the day. My kids woke up early. <laughs> One of the things I like to do is to get my kids to actually load the car with stuff because I can't do it on my own. One of the things that I tell my kids over and over again is that we are a family and I cannot do everything by myself. We cannot, fun I cannot function by myself and for the rest of your life you are not gonna have me around to do everything for you. So you need to chip in and be a part of this family. Period. It's not about building independence and responsibility, yet it is. But first and foremost, it's about building and supporting each other as a family. So I'm just gonna kinda show you, we're gonna get dressed, we're gonna eat breakfast, we're gonna do all those things that you do in the morning to get us ready, and um, then we're gonna head out the door. We have an hour, one hour. Till what? So we have to leave. So before we left this morning, we went ahead and I had them watch the Bible Project, Second Timothy. We're gonna be reading through that book, so I'm kind of over devotionals right now, just to kind of throw that out there. I'm just done with them. I'm just going straight to the source. Uh, yeah, so now uh, we need to go, because I'm sitting here talking to the camera and I need to have been in the car three minutes ago. All right, before we go anywhere, let me show you what is how our car is kind of set up. One thing that's really nice is I am able to put a seat down. I have the lunch box and just, I just threw stuff in here. Let's just be honest, it's just thrown in here. But I do have all of our schoolwork ready to go with the pencils. Isaac has some schoolwork in the front that he's gonna work on when we're driving, but we're probably realistically going to listen to audiobooks. So we are now at aqua therapy for Naomi. Naomi's in the back swimming and we're in the car doing schoolwork. Doesn't sound like a fair trade off, does it? Uh, but let me just kind of show you what we're up to. Hannah is working on math, right sweetie? Mm -hmm. You like this curriculum a lot better, right? Yeah, we switched over to Horizons. We actually finished Right Start Math, but now we're doing Horizons. It's kind of like a review and um, she, likes, she actually likes a lot better. I think the Right Start Math really pushed her into a more self-sufficient direction when it comes to math. And it's also helping her self-esteem because now this math is just, it's easy, right? Yeah. Now Ethan is working on United States Constitution yes, stuff, right? Yeah. Yep, and Isaac's doing the same thing. And Isaac, apparently it's too sunny outside, so Isaac made himself a tent. We're making ourselves a tent now. Oh, now you guys know, you guys need to get back to your schoolwork. You're making a sibling tent? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, do it quick so you can get back to your schoolwork. Mm -hmm. So this used to have more woods, as you can see behind me. It's a big, giant fence. There was woods all along here, and we used to kind of be outside exploring, but one thing is certain in life is things never stay the same. So we make do with what we have. We are at the library. That's right. 
We have about an hour and a half to two hours to kill before Naomi has dance class. Sometimes we go to the library. Next week we're going to get our car cleaned out and vacuumed and all that fun stuff. But we're at the library. And this is great because I can work with Naomi on some of her fine motor skills and writing. But also all my kids get to pick out a book. Hannah gets to do it as her daily reading out loud assignment for the day. It's just, you know... Awesome. Guys, look what they have. Uh, tempted to get it. Yeah, we're gonna get it. All right, so we are listening to The Green Ember. We're working our way through the series, and we're using an app called Scrib. The app is $10 a month, but you have access to a multitude of audiobooks, and we have them downloaded, Scrib downloaded, to like multiple uh, phones and iPads throughout our house, so we're able to listen to that whenever they want to. They can go to the room and listen to the Hardy Boys or something like that. But anyway, this becomes very, very popular in the car, even when we're sitting around and waiting around for Naomi's therapy. So we're in the car and it's uh, lunch, snack, snackish, snackish lunch. Dinner. So I am literally sitting yeah. where the chair usually sits very comfortably and a couple things that are really, really nice to have in the car. Baby wipes. Also make sure that you close them when you are done and they'll stay. You can keep them in the car. I got a couple packages in here. So we have our trash bag that we put together just now. Also, I did find some more uh, pencils and pens. I found an eraser too, which is much needed. Uh, something that I forgot today that I just need to have is called change of clothes because I forgot her shirt. You got your water, your to-go water. I don't give her open cups in the car. Even though she can drink out of an open cup, she gets a straw. And that's your bean burrito. The rest of it, are you gonna eat it? Show them how you can eat it. Take a bite. Ready? One, two, three, bite. That was baby bite, but I'll take it. Okay, in a few minutes, we're about to transition into the building, which means that we need to portably take our stuff into the building. And really, all they have left is math, and Hannah needs to read to me. home it's about seven o'clock and that just kind of you know wraps up our day out and about but here's like the important part when you finish your day make sure that your kids help you bring stuff inside and put them where they belong I always have one kid empty out the lunchbox. I have another kid make sure they get everything out of the car and the car is clean I have another kid to help me with Naomi and then I usually start up on dinner Try to keep it simple, that kind of stuff. Just kind of rounds out our day. I also make sure all my kids get showers because they have to get a shower tonight. And we're gonna finish listening to Green Ember actually inside the house because they're really into this book. Also another thing that we did that I didn't show you is um, Hannah actually read a book about ballerinas. Where's your ballerina book? The ballerina book. Um, I love ballet, so actually me and Hannah, while the boys were doing gymnastics, me and her were doing ballet together going through all the positions so if you can find something that your kid likes and you like to do sometimes on the go it's a great bonding time just to I don't know learn or do something together one-on-one -on -one. we had one-on-one -on -one time is kind of cool anyway I'm gonna head out I'm gonna get Naomi inside get everybody fed and uh, I will see you guys in our next video don't forget to check out Megan's video Katie's video their links are down in the description box below. And uh, until then, bye guys.